We get my ass kicked. Not as much as Carson fucking Wentz, though. Oh, my God. Hey. Always. This guy. He is a wild card. <laughs> yeah. I, is this how he always has played? Is this what it was like in Philadelphia? He is, and I know Darius Leonard's a maniac, okay? Mm -hmm. So I don't want to take anybody's tagline here. Carson Wentz is a maniac on the football field. Yeah. All right? I, I don't know how people were able to have him as their quarterback and not have heart attacks every single time he's on the field. He, the, the, the shovel pass that Diggs is mentioning there, literally left-handed <laughs> shovel pass. It almost slipped out of his hands while he was throwing it, yeah. and he tosses it right to the guy's chest. Now, not his fault. Jack Doyle was supposed to be there. It was supposed to be a little inside game or whatever. Allegedly, Aaron Donald knew it was coming and, like, chipped Jack Doyle Damn. as he was also going forward, so Jack Doyle was off or whatever the case. But that one play right there just kind of led into a bunch of series of events that I'm going to watch Carson a little differently whenever he comes on the field. He is a psychopath, all right? Yeah. <laughs> he does not care... <laughs> at all about his body. No. Maybe the most, and we'll talk about uh, Christian McCaffrey in this same regard mm. later, and Joey Burrow, who's still getting oh. slaughtered oh, on the field, crushed. okay? Yeah. But Carson Wentz gives absolutely zero fucks about his body. He's a masochist. I, it's a great word usage right there. And I don't know what that is. That's when they pee on each other? Uh, it's when you enjoy pain. Oh. <laughs> okay, I thought that was one of those That's things. That's humiliation, so I'm not sure if that falls under the same umbrella. Huh. Masochists might also enjoy being peed on. Okay. Because the pain. So. Bill, what was that one show I tried to watch and the guy was just getting Billions. Billions. Yeah. Couldn't watch it anymore. Yeah, you're yeah, out no. pretty quick. All right. <laughs> so this guy likes to get peed on. That tells me a lot. enough I need to know Good about Good show. It. I'm out of here. And by the way, there's probably a lot of people I've encountered in my life that like to get peed on behind closed doors. Really? I don't know about it, so I'm going to continue to go about it. But in that billion show, mm -hmm. I learned about it immediately. I call oh, this yeah. guy gets pissed on. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Yeah, no thanks. Anyway, so maybe he is, I don't know, I don't think Carson likes to get pissed on. On the field. He's but mad. on the field, this dude is the most reckless human I've ever seen in my entire life. With the ball, mm -hmm. with his body, he's incredibly talented. I think there's some upside, obviously, that could be there. He tried... He tried to die on the field yesterday, I think, a couple different times. Yeah, I times. honestly believe that Carson Wentz tried to die. In the play that everybody, I actually put a video up of it. This was before I even knew that this was inevitably going to take him out of the game. So I actually deleted the video because he got hurt during the video, and I kind of felt weird having it out there. I don't like being a part of that or whatever. But as soon as I saw it, I literally jumped up, and I was like, what is this fucking guy doing? Aaron Donald is, by all accounts at this point, I think everybody has agreed, like, oh, this is one of the greatest football players of all time. Like, not even just, Aaron, one of the most explosive humans of all time. Yeah. He has a 10-pack at, yeah. like, 260 or whatever the case is. Aaron Donald is completely around his entire body. Obviously around his body. Put that picture up. He is draped around his body. And all Carson Wentz. He's like, ah, oh, fuck, I think I can make a play to Michael Pittman Jr. right here. <laughs> and Michael Pittman Jr., by the way, hell of a day. Yeah. Great yeah. to see you, pal. Absolutely dominant. Carson, instead of just going down and lifting his legs up, which you'll see some ACL recovery guys do. Saquon's doing it right now. You'll see some other people that end up happening get hurt. Whenever they get in a, in a pile, you'll see them just like almost lift their legs and just kind of let the pile do whatever the pile's going to do, if that makes sense. It's like a way I think guys... Like, kind of say, okay, I'm just going to let this happen. Whatever's mm -hmm. going to happen here is going to happen, as opposed to being planted and something happening and getting ugly. Instead of just going down, which he could have. Easy. We are in the red zone, I believe, at this point. He could have definitely done that. Mm -hmm. Instead, this psychopath, I, I cannot say this <laughs> enough, this maniac who cares nothing about his body, and I understand that his way of saying things is probably similar to what Andrew Luck says, and Andrew Luck said that football isn't meant to be played where you go down or you slide or you take a play off or you don't play it fullest. Like, I think Andrew legitimately thought that it would be disrespectful to football if he would do things that other quarterbacks do. And I'm saying I understand and I appreciate you saying that, but also – our entire team's a lot better whenever you're playing football. It would be, yeah. be great for football if you were available. And I appreciate that thought. Like, I appreciate that thought. And I think Carson has the same. In this particular play, though, he could have just fallen down, taken it down, no big deal, lived to see another day, which is what I assume everybody says about him. Instead, tries to make this miraculous play. In doing so, he literally cocked his body in a fashion that Aaron Donald's going the other way. He sprayed both fucking ankles. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> This guy sprained both of his oh, fucking ankles, hard dude. To do that. 
Ian Rappaport reported QB Carson Wentz is dealing with injuries to not just one ankle, as everybody saw it, get rolled up underneath yeah. it. I thought it was a knee issue as well because he was kind of pancaked down there. But both ankles. He's having tests today to determine the severity of his sprains. Suffered yesterday. Sprained both of his ankles. <laughs> and by the way, wanted to go back in. Yeah. Like, I respect it. I'm very appreciative of that style of football play and being, like, that tough and everything like that. But God damn, dude, like, oh, we're a much better football team with you playing football than you not playing football. The big skinny quarterback went in, threw a fucking pick to Jalen Ramsey. <laughs> yeah, immediately. immediately. Yeah. Immediate game over. How you doing, Jalen Ramsey? Running around Lucas Oil Stadium waving at everybody. Where's the taunting go? Huh? I was on his sideline. Uh, so. And he was looking at the fans on his players. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but, and by the way, more of that, Jalen. I'm not on more of that, Jalen. Yeah, yeah. Keep I, doing I, it. I keep, please. And I would like for the coaches to potentially decline these taunting calls. Mm -hmm. By the way, yeah. I, I would like for the coaches to be like, nah, nah, we're cool. No. What do you do? Can we run a replay? Nah. You didn't mean to do that, right? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we declined it. That'd be awesome if all the coaches were like, we ain't doing this shit anymore. And then it would get the fourth uh, Coach quarter. Dave would decline it. Yeah, but he, oh. Jesus. Coach Dave Coley down in Houston. An interesting situation. Yeah. Uh, w we would like to punt. We do. <laughs> yeah. Just like Penn State put, being forced to punt yeah. on third down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Coach David Colley on Sunday said, nah, nah, we don't want another shot at getting a first down. We would like to punt yeah. this thing. That Please. Pretty good shot. Out. Third and eight. Third and eight. Fourth and two. <laughs> third and eight. Fucking stinks, dude. You know how many plays we got for third and eight? <laughs> we only got a couple plays. Fourth and two, we got one good one. Mm -hmm. It's a punt. And that ball is going to be murdered out there. To his credit, he did say... If I could go back and do it again, I probably would have made the opposite decision. 